Welcome to this series of videos on um, question of how much to order, which we are going to solve by using um, optimization in Excel Solver. So usually we have very standard analytical methods. All, I'm assuming all of you know EOQ or economic order quantity. And if you don't, um, please see the video. I have the link um, in the description below. Uh, but yeah, so there are many such formulas um, which are available for uh, solving specific inventory problems of how much to order. But each of these formulas have their set of assumptions. And uh, if you ever have to break an assumption, the formula is no longer valid. So what I'm going to do here is teach you some general methods uh, using Excel Solver. And uh, you can explore these methods in any direction you want. You can break an assumption. All you have to do is create a slightly different model and use the same exact methodology and get your answer to this question of how much to order. So before I go ahead, um, number one is please go and ensure that a Solver is installed in your computers. Um, if it is not, search for um, videos on how to do it and um, get it done. And before we start in this video, I'm going to explain two concepts. Uh, one concept is average inventory and second concept is similar triangles, which we will use um, to model um, in these videos. So let's get started with the first idea. So when I say this idea of average inventory, okay, let, let's look at average inventory. Uh, and um, let's suppose I have a situation, we see these kind of graphs very often in um, inventory problems. This represents my inventory I, and let's assume I carry an inventory of two units throughout the year. This is one year, so this is six months, this is three months, this is somewhere nine, and this is 12 months, right? So I'm carrying an inventory of two units. This is two, all right? In that case, uh, my average inventory is also, of course, two units. So two units, excuse me, two units for the year, all right? Uh, which is simple and if you look at this, this inventory, two units for the year, is the same thing as the area of the shaded region because the y-axis is two, the x-axis is one, so um, the average inventory is two times one, which is two units per year. Now let's look at a slightly different situation. In this situation, which is again I'm talking about a year, all I'm doing is I'm not carrying inventory of two units for the year, but I'm carrying inventory of two units for nine months. So I would have something like this, and then I stop, and there's zero inventory for the remaining part of the year. Okay, there's zero inventory here. So this is nine, this is 12. And this is my shaded region. I have two units of inventory. Now, if we look at the calculation here, the way it would work is very simple. Since I have uh, invent different inventory in different periods of time, I use a weighted average formula where I say I have two units of inventory for 0.75% per of the year or 0.75th of the year plus zero inventory for the remaining part of the year. And my total year is 0.75 plus 0.25. So my average inventory becomes two times 0 0.75, which is divided by one, which is equal to 1.50 units for the year. Now, if, if you look at this diagram, you can get that straight away by looking at the area because this nine months is um, 0 0.75 fifth of the year. So the area of the shaded region is two times 0 0.75 which is equal to um, 1.50 units for the year. Same thing, all right? Now let's look at a slightly different concept that we usually see in our EOQ problems. Again, let's assume we have the same diagram. And instead of um, the straight in, in true EOQ fashion, uh, our inventory slowly goes to zero. I reorder. My inventory slowly goes to zero. 
I reorder my inventory slowly. So it keeps happening. And this is the shaded region, which I need to find the area to get my average inventory. So let's assume this order quantity, which we order is Q. And we have multiple cycles of time T. And the summation of all T's is one or whatever time period that we are talking about. So this is one T here, this will be a, another T here and so on. There'll be multiple T's within the year, just like the EOQ fashion. So in this case, um, the area of one shaded triangle, it's a triangle, so we can use half base times height. And my height is Q, so the area of this particular triangle is half times height, which is Q, the base is T. And the summation of all the areas would be half Q by 2 plus half Q by T plus half Q by T. And this continues so that I include all the triangles within the year. I can bring half Q outside as common T plus T plus T keeps going for all the T's um, that I have within the year. Sum of all the T's is the total time period which in this case is a year. So my average inventory is half Q. This is a number that have, we often use when we do economic order quantity or EOQ. <laughs> now let's come quickly to a second concept. Um, we here we talked about our um, inventory average. Um, the other concept that I want to bring is related to our um, eighth or ninth grade geometry, which is the concept of similar triangles. So let's say I say that this particular triangle, which I will call as A, B, and C, is similar to this particular triangle. I'm going to try and make it exactly half of it, which I'll call as P, Q, R. And I'm going to assume, I'm going to say that both these triangles are similar, A, B, C, and P, Q, R. They're not congruent, not the same triangles. What I'm saying here is all their angles are similar, are exactly same. So in that case, we can use ratios um, to relate their side. Uh, and uh, we can write things like corresponding sides, A, B, and let's say PQ, which are corresponding sides in the two triangles are equal to, let's say BC upon QR, things like this. So we can relate corresponding sides and they would be equal. We can create multiple ratios here. Um, I can also say um, AB upon AC or AC is equal to PQ upon PR, which would also work. Um, and yeah, so the idea here is if we create um, ratios of uh, corresponding size, those ratios would be equal. Again, more of this in Khan Academy or other similar triangle theory if you want, but at this point, this would be sufficient. That's about it to introduce this topic. And uh, what we're going to do um, in this series of videos is we will first talk about economic order quantity. Um, then we will talk about economic order quantity with shortages. Um, we will also talk about EOQ economic order quantity with one time discount and many other such ideas in this series. Happy viewing!